Hi, this is Gavin Bottrell from Time Warp Golf. I've come here to my local golf course in Warwickshire this morning to test hit these clubs. And what I have here is a driver and a brassy. Now, a few months ago, I bought a box of heads and uh, some of them were in almost, com well, completely finished state in that they had varnish on them and uh, lead in them but they had never been shafted and that's exactly what I've got here so two clubs matching made by James Anderson probably in about 1910 maybe as late as 1920 but have never been hit so I'm going to hit them this morning and uh, see how they go fingers crossed Now the face on this club um, is quite straight in that there's not a lot of loft. I would say probably as little as 8 degrees. So it's very, very straight faced, which is um, normally for hickory golf, I say you want something with a little bit more loft than your mo modern driver. So it's a very low flight on that. That was uh, quite nice. I'd be happy with that. tastes. So whether I'd uh, consider with this one actually altering the face slightly to just put a couple of more degrees on it would probably be my preference but I'll probably just leave it well alone to be honest as it's uh, been like that for over a hundred years. So one more with a driver I think. Let's try and get a good, get a decent one. That might be better. Right, let's have a go with the brassy. Now I think this brassy has about 13 degrees of loft, so probably what you'd expect from most hickory drivers. See if this goes better. Doesn't want to stay in straight that tee. today. Even better. <laughs> oh, that was absolutely lovely. Well, that just proves really that uh, loft is your friend when it comes to hickory golf. So, what to do? Well, I am going to probably put these up for sale on eBay or something like that. So, if you're in the market for a set of woods, um, please have a look. Thanks for watching. My email, if you need to drop me a line, is info at timewarpgolf.com. Bye.